Hello. Hi, John. So nice to see you. Yeah, you too. So excited for your session. I'm, yes, I'm feeling so much better um, since all of the healers were surrounding me with their love. It just was an outpouring. Uh, wow. So I'm so happy to hear that you've you've certainly been through the through a roller coaster. Yes, it was really really a lot with the pinch nerve and things like that, but we made it through. I feel like, you know, with everything, we can just use our energy to heal it. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how you want to start the session. If you wanted to start out healing first, or if you would like me to, I'm very excited. I am very honored and grateful um, for being able to help heal you. So if you want me to start first, I don't mind too. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, if it's okay, I'd like to, to go first. Um, that oh, would be sure. that okay. really, really awesome. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. Like, <laughs> just as I was setting up, um, preparing and, and setting up my own protection, it was like, it, like immediately, it was just like, um, I think there's <laughs> at least five uh, angels just appeared. And they, they just like, as I closed my eyes, they just came down in front of me. And they were, they were, uh, they're introducing themselves as angels of the, the highest order, which I've only worked with once or, or twice. And <laughs> they were just saying, you don't need to do all this protection. Like, you're going to be just fine. And it's like, thank you. I'll... It's so funny. <laughs> I can't believe you mentioned that because as I prepared my space, I went through and I just, I did saging and I cleansed and cleared. And I just called upon Archangel Michael and I said, bring in the glory of light to this room here and now and just be here and channel in exactly what is needed and just you know the divine light is here and so it's funny they're just they showed up on your side too <laughs> that's, right, yeah. that's fantastic wow. okay so let's begin by taking in three deep breaths in through the nose And out to the mouth. And once more in through the nose. Hold. And out to the mouth nice and loud. And once more in through the nose. And exhale the stress of the week. And from the center of our hearts, extend the light cord up through the top of our heads, to the sky, the stars, all the way up to the highest dimension of source. And there connect in our light cords into source, feeling that oneness, that unity, that love energy. Remaining connected to source and extend our light cords down through the stars, the sky, back down to the top of our heads and into our hearts. It's so beautiful. I feel it connecting in right now. It's just so <laughs> strong in the crown. <laughs> it's just like, whoosh. it's like happy to be here. That's beautiful. And just allow that energy from source above to flow down like a waterfall as a waterfall of golden light. And allow those sparkles of love energy to flow down through the top of your head, all the way down through your human form, your light body, every dimensional view, clearing, cleansing, and healing every aspect of you. And now, Take a light cord from the center of our hearts and extend it down this time through the roots of our spines, going deep down through the layers of the planet until we reach the very core of Mother Earth. And there, connecting our light cords into Gaia's crystalline heart. And we send Gaia so much love at this time. She's, she's saying hello and I see like two, I see your light cord there also at the same time and our positions across the planet. 
like I feel almost... really deeply rooted. I'm like <laughs> sitting on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's like, it reminds me of um, a kind of magnetic uh, diagram or like the, sometimes it looked like the, the, we would see the magnetic poles of the planet. But, this, mm. but they're coming up from the center of the planet up into each of us this time. So, so remain connected to Gaia and extend our light cords up through the roots of our spines and back up into our hearts. And now around each of us individually create a golden bubble of light of source above and Gaia below, blending with our own light and setting the intention that on the energies and entities with our permission, highest good love and compassion can see us or access us or exist within our golden bubbles. And into our golden bubbles, we invite in our guides. The infinite love and light to surround both of us in this golden bubble. Thank you. And into our golden bubbles, we invite in our guides, our higher selves, Archangel Michael for protection, clearing, Archangel Raphael for healing. And now through space and time, I create a golden bubble around Lillian and John. And I set the intention for this bubble that only energies and entities with our permission, highest good, love and compassion can see us or access us or exist within this space. And into this golden bubble, I invite in our guides, our higher selves. I invite in our ancestors. I invite in every dimension of us. I invite in Source and Gaia and Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. And just allowing, <laughs> just allowing our guides to step into the space and for them to greet each other and to find the balance of energy. And to me, it feels incredibly strong I see the same five angels I did before the session and they've walked in as your guides. And they're standing in a row in front of me. And they're saying, we are five, we are five. And they're, they're very tall. Um, it's hard for me to get a sense of scale. I'm seeing like maybe 70 or 80 foot tall compared to human terms. And they're holding hands. They're standing in a formation and they're holding hands. Oh, wow. <laughs> that energy on my hand. It's like they're just showing me what energy they're passing between them. And it's, it's the... Yeah, I feel it. It's unity that they're demonstrating. They're demonstrating themselves as one, as one mm -hmm. light. And there's definitely a lot more to come. But first, I'm being guided to do an energy scan for you. And you're, yes, we shall proceed with an energy scan. And so I invite down from the highest dimension of source, a column of light down to above Lillian's head. And I set the intention for this light to heal, to clear, to assist with gift activations, integrations, and any messages that will help Lillian at this time. And just lowering this down now onto your crown chakra. And I'm seeing you, your light body sat in lotus position and your crown chakra is very colorful. 
it it appears to me like it's in the early stages of uh, rainbow activation and mm, beautiful it it appears to me like a circle and then it has like a star shape these these kind of how many points let me see three six seven, eight, nine, 11 yes i think it's 11 points so these like zigzag a bit like we would draw a child might draw the sun or a star mm. but it has 11 points coming out of it and in the middle is the early start of your the rainbow colors and they're just they're quite small and they're just slowly circling around at this time and it's really beautiful as I brought the light down onto your crown chakra. I couldn't see your light body, but then when the crown, when the light met your crown chakra, it it illuminated your body, not entirely, but it was just like um, there's this beautiful flow of light, like when you put light through a prism, and we just started to see some of those those rainbow colors come out through. So pretty. I can feel healing going on in my neck. I just moved it and it just went crunch. So I do feel that I'm getting an energetic release right in my yeah. neck, which is nice. Just kind of feeling that. And I'm going to bring in some healing love to assist your. your rainbow activation of your crown chakra. I accept this activation with all of my heart. I am open to receiving. Wow. And as I sent in the light, it was just being wow. blasted back out. <laughs> like this big Ooh, rainbow. it's still going. <laughs> I still feel it. It's kind of like going in like a spiral, just kind of like, shh. Yeah. I think I'm, yeah, what I'm doing is I'm, it wasn't my intention, but it is, this healing is just allowing that activation to, and, and your acceptance is allowing it to just pick up a little bit of pace. And it's going to, your crown chakra is going to continue to activate at the right time, the right pace for you. You can ask for it to slow down or to accelerate at any time. It's your free will. Thank you so much. Coming down now to your third eye. And when I see your third eye, I'm being shown through your third eye, like what do you see? And I'm seeing these these like bands. They're like dark bands coming across. I think it, yeah, I think it's four. Like my fingers are just now. And it's like you're you're looking through these bands when you're looking through your third eye. Interesting. And I'm trying to understand what these are. Okay. So it's um it's a it's like a cage around your third eye and maybe I've, protection yeah and i've seen this uh on in fact on, on my my own and other clients um solar plexus where uh we will put a it's it's like a kind of mesh like a, a cage around a chakra and it still allows quite free function um but there's a, a there's a it's a limiting factor to it and so we can we can open this this cage with you if that's what you would like it feels yes, like you're open. you're you're ready <laughs> okay we open these doors so that we may see more clearly yes and it is appearing to me like a device. And so I'm just gonna reach in. So this is just on the back of your third eye. I'm just going around to the back of your head now. Okay, and I just bring down this 
it's like it kind of latch. Just bringing that down and then opening out that cage. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just taking this away. And that's it now removed. I'm holding it in my hands and I'm just going to compress it down in sides to a small, it's quite dark. And I'm getting a sense of what it's been, it's been absorbing um, when you've been witnessing negative entities, when you've been seeing them in your third eye, it's been absorbing that energy. And Interesting. it's like a, it's like energy they were sending to you. And it's, it's the protective nature of this. It's been absorbing it and protecting you from that. Um, mm. You no longer need this. You know how to protect yourself with, with love. Um, yes. And it's, it's a bit like your, your training wheels are now, are now removed. <laughs> um, I'm just going to hand this to Archangel Michael. He's not entirely sure what to do with it. I just don't like leave anything around. <laughs> um, <laughs> please, please return to source or never to return here again. Mm, transmute it. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. With love, yeah. we send it. Yes, thank you. And he's doing he's doing this. I've never seen him do this before. He's like holding it in his hands like this, and he's just like your command to transmute it, and he's just like blasting it into light, and then it's just dispersed. Mm, that's so beautiful. It's really nice. Oh, I just feel like I'm glowing. My whole body is just like <laughs> I feel like I'm moving like the the spirit of like wind in the air is just like taking me with you know, it's free. I guess yes. you freed something within me where I can kind of grow. I feel that. That's right. You I know. feel it. That's really beautiful. I feel so, I feel so light. Like <laughs> just gradually just slowly drifting forwards through space and and time just very gentle drift mm. it's really beautiful exactly and so your third eye your third eye is in good shape like it's i feel like you can you can definitely see clearly now but it's already been in in good shape and that's that cage mm -hmm. that was around it has really helped and then coming down to your to your throat chakra. I'm seeing um, it's like a, a twist in your being shown like a twist in your chakra. It that could be the like cervical the cervical issue. Maybe that's what's going on. Okay. And yeah, the energy is, I, I, um, I'm hearing quite a few different things. So like one is when there's been times in this lifetime, good. And so you, you changed time. Uh, in, the, in the way that you're energetically connected to someone. And what I'm seeing is like this energy like coming up from your heart and then going up into your throat chakra. And then when you, when someone, you're, you're saying something, you're saying something to someone, what are you saying to them? You're talking about um, a dream you had or you're talking about, it's like you really, you really want to talk light language to them. And then you're like, and then you're, and then you're pushing that, that energy away, you're twisting it over and it's causing, like, you're really worried that they're going to react badly. And so you, you turn that and you divert that energy. And it's causing this twisting in your throat chakra. Like every time you, you use this kind of avoidance, the energy shifts. Mm. And it's warping your 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 throat chakra. It's really interesting because you are 
you are still releasing this energy. I think what I'm feeling is that is truly an expression of self. And I don't always feel heard when speaking mm. my truth with my light language, but I'm learning to build community where I can be heard. I think this yeah. is really important. I've learned even in my path with dating and finding people, I've been told to turn that off. Don't share okay. what is so different. And I am embracing what is me because they will have to understand this is not something I can contain. It's just my heart. It's my yeah. soul language. <laughs> it's you. So. Mm. And so first I'm going to, okay. So I'm, I'm just looking closer. So I do see uh, that there's, there's an attachment that you have and it's at the very, so if you imagine, I see, I keep being shown like DNA and like your, your throat chakra is like wrapped around. Sometimes we see, is it the, like a Kundalini snake that wraps around a sword? It's a bit like that. Mm -hmm. It's this, it's this wrapping effect. And at the center of it, this, this wound of yours is it has attracted in a, an attachment just at the center there. Oh, it's really interesting. And it's, it's, so it's trying to hide from me. What it's doing is it's like, um, it's like, no, don't, don't talk to him. <laughs> like, uh, there's nothing to see here. Um, and yeah, it's really interesting. So it's, it's triggering you, right? So it's the way it's feeding is it's, um, it's going to try and get you in situations where you just don't want to speak your truth, but you really, or you really want to, but you don't. And so yeah. it, it this is like, a, yeah. Those. Yeah, I feel that to be true. I'm in a lot of situation where this is true. So yeah, I want to help. And sometimes it's hard for me to express the true self. Yeah. So I'm just going to deal with this attachment first, and then we'll, we'll come on to some, uh, some healing and uh, the message for you. So I'm going to bring in my light sword, because I'm going to come down through the middle. And this light sword... Um, I'm just making it about the length of your body and I'm setting the intention that this can only remove or affect energies or entities that do not have the permission of Lillian and will not affect any of her human or light body or any other aspect of her. Sword be with me and just bring it down now, entering through the crown chakra and to the third eye and coming down now to the throat chakra and just continue all the way through and so I'm pulling out now that empty. Okay, that's the sword commence and just unraveling this entity. And it's much bigger than I thought. It's, it feels like about 20 feet in length. And I'm handing this to Archangel Michael. Okay, please return to source, never to return here again. Thank you for your service. Yeah, that's a completely free. It's very, very thin. Okay. Thank you. And I saw it like Archangel Michael was holding it in his arm and it wrapped all the way around its arm, his arm. And he was just like putting his arm into source as it kind of, as it was then taken away. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And just being shown that it was very much the intent of that, that entity. And so I'm just looking into the healing now of your throat chakra. Your throat chakra is like already a, a lot happier. Um, the shape yeah, I feel it. is, is just starting to, 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 it's just gradually returning already to, to its normal shape, to more circular shape. And I'm going to bring in, yes, ask Archangel Raphael to assist me just now. 
I'm going to bring in some golden healing energy to heal any wounds that this entity has left and any other wounds that need attention at this time. Bring in source. Good. And the message I hear for you is this is your, your homework uh, to practice, and it's very much. Um, uh, a timely with, with the holiday season, which is to know that every soul is on their healing and ascension journey. And the free will of every individual is to be respected by every individual. And those that show us disrespect do not deserve and do not earn our energy, our interaction. And whilst we cannot change every soul, we can be there for them by leading by example, expressing our truth. And the incremental truth is helpful. For when a soul appears closed, meet them at their vibration and see if you see a sparkle in them in their eyes in their hearts, and their smile. And sometimes, where there isn't a sparkle, sometimes a soul is lost and suffering, just like we often do before our awakenings. We are lost. We are wandering the empty void, wondering what has happened to this world, what has happened to our lives, what has happened to this matrix until we find a light of our own to follow. So just being there in your energy, being there in your power and releasing that energy, speaking your truth when you can, practicing incremental truth. And when they are not ready to listen, find a place, a space, a way of expressing your energy in and around that time. And sometimes it is helpful after a connection with someone who is completely shut down to you to hold space for them in your next meditation and speak to them the truth that you would like to share with them. And just ask their higher self if they would like to hear you and talk if they don't want to hear you and talk to the space around you. And this helps you release this. You have so much beautiful truth. You have world changing truth to share. Thank you. Coming down now to your heart chakra. And being shown your heart as a star and as every star shining so brightly in the universe and being shown like the, the opposite. So the in, opposite in vibration of being like a black hole, consuming light, consuming matter. And this is the symbol of <laughs> uh, Archangel Michael's just pitching and he's just saying, you know, the light's got to go somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. And it's being shown like this balance, which is that stars shine brightly mm. in the darkness and the light always goes somewhere. And sometimes the light is consumed by a black hole. 
mm. and then it being shown on the other side of the black hole where all the light is sucked into it's very much like the infinity loop where it then comes back out the other side yes as light absolutely and it comes yeah. it comes back out as a star yes it's and neither it's, created nor destroyed it is just simply returned back with different flow that's right yeah and as the light is expressed from I don't know the right term, and I just, it sounds a bit like the apex, like that, that center point of the black hole, which is also the center point, like the heart of the star on the other side, is that the light, when it's going out further away from that center point and wandering around in the universe, that light is at times just a little bit lost. It doesn't really know where it's going. And it's just this very faint pull, this very, very, almost like a tickle to the light. And then over time, it's gradually pulling that light back, back in to the center again. And again, this process happens. Mm -hmm. Except Beautiful. when being shown like one side is light and one side is dark. And then this, this, this whole picture continues to change for me. So it's now becoming more like a rainbow. Mm. So showing all the different colors in between the light and darkness. And so sometimes the light feels a little bit lost in the dark and sometimes it feels lost in the light and then travels through every color in between. And there's this feeling for you, which is, um, I feel that feeling you know when you're on a roller coaster and you're just at the, you so you're going up to the very top and yeah. there's that feeling just before you free fall and it's that that moment it's a moment of bliss and excitement and stepping into the unknown and then it's very exhilarating thereafter and I'm just sensing this um, it's like there's a slight detachment at the moment with your like with your soul and your light body, with your human form. And they're about to, it's almost like you're, when your stomach lifts up, when you're just, just at the very top <laughs> of a hill and just about to go down. And, and now you're, and I feel this is also linked in with your, your rainbow activation. It's like you're going to blend more, more now into your physical body. And so as part of the activation that you're going through, you're going to integrate much more. It's not a, it's not a heaviness. Um, it is, uh, it is a range. So you're going to, um, instead of only feeling kind of midpoint to really light, you're going to be able to feel everything. You feel the kind of heaviest part of your physical form and gravity pull, pull on it all the way up to your highest vibration. And you, you'll feel all these at the same time. And this will become a very, a comfortable feeling for you that you with your rainbow activation you will go through this ability to um, access any of these frequencies at any time wow <laughs> and the message i'm hearing from the five angels um, is that they're they're so so proud of you for Yes, I'd like to channel for a moment. Mm. Daughter of the stars. Angel of the highest order, you step down so far, so far down in dissension to assist Gaia at this time. And we are so proud of you taking this giant leap down into the human race and bringing in these energies, your heart of a neutron star. Through many lifetimes, you have been a star. 
And now you come into this lifetime carrying this weight. This weight is weightless. This light is darkness and light. You bring with you a whole spectrum, a whole universe into one heart. You are our sixth angel. And we came with you as your team to be with you at this beautiful soul graduation at this time. And the very least you have earned is rainbow activation of each of your chakras in turn. We didn't think it was possible and you proved us wrong. You said, I hear Gaia's call and I'm going, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help this whole yes. race. And I'm gonna show them the truth of the universe. And for every heart that is awakening, I am here at your awakening time to help you find your truth and to help you show, show the truth of the stars, the truth of every being, of every living thing. Thank you. And just continuing down now through the solar plexus. So your other chakras below your heart appear to me like, they appear like a straight rod of lines. <laughs> And I don't really understand why it's to do with your form, to do with your... Okay, so I'm seeing that energetically for you to achieve this integration with a human form, it is like you have come down like a beam of light and you've nice. stepped successfully down through each chakra coming in and you've integrated fully through down to your heart. Okay, yes, and I just feel like this, um, sounds like a bottleneck because it's wide, you have a very big heart chakra and then it's very thin down to other chakras. And so we're just gonna allow these, your other chakras just to open up. And I do want to set the intention for any chakras. I don't specifically name this. <laughs> There are likely hundreds that we set this intention for all of them in the land at this time. Yes. And just allowing that same column of source light I brought down at the start of the scan to now come down and softly open up your solar plexus chakra, just allowing that energy to softly expand the chakra. Chakra's ready. It's just gradually moving into its natural shape that feels right for it. That will, process will continue as we go down to the sacral chakra. I'm seeing in your sacral chakra, like the, the fire of the sun, it's like the fire of a star and it's already burning. Just allowing it to freely grow to the size that it wishes to be. And flowing down to the root chakra. It's allowing that also to open up. And then for every other chakra, so we just widen out this light of source and for it to come down to your entire form, your head, your shoulders, your body, your arms, your hands, and through your core, down through the lower chakras, and through your roots, and down through your legs, and allowing the energy to flow. I'm going to connect this light now down, ground it down into the core of Mother Earth. 
and just allow that energy flow to continue. For Gaia's core is connected to the grand central sun, connected into source, and allow this infinity loop to flow. And just allow this energy to gradually flow and gradually expand out. Gradually expand out to size that feels right and at a pace that you're comfortable with. It'll take a few hours, as long as three days, longer if you decide to slow it. Just allow this softening, this expansion. Okay, I'd like to leave this protection and this healing in place. Perfect. And do you have any questions for your for your guides at this time? Mm. Let's see. I would ask them, is there anything that I could improve on in my spiritual path? So then the first thing I hear is like, Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> what is um, it? Practice to just repeatedly saying practice, practice. Practice. So yes, yeah, so in your in your daily routine. In your so so to explain the context, some of what I've just done I've never done before. And that is very common um, <laughs> that every time um, I do uh, a healing or clearing for someone, I always learn a lot more. And yours is no exception. And to the message for you is to in your in your daily routine of I'm feeling like, I feel like you do some yoga, some stretching already. Yes. Yep. And, and after that, when you sit to meditate for a few minutes each day, to follow your intuition, to follow your, um, your first instincts, the first message you're given, um, to explore a new technique each day. And I'm being shown my practice, which is um, I, I create, like we started this session, uh, but the, the difference for me is I then create like a golden bubble around my home, planet Earth, around mm -hmm. the solar system, around the galaxy, around the universe. And then I set the intention to raise the vibration of every living thing. And then I speak out loud and I say, guides, higher self and source, what messages do you have for me at this time for the highest good love and compassion? And I just gently start talking what I, what I hear. I just let the words just flow, flow out of me. I just speak the words. Mm. And for you, and the way it feels for me is like, it's very, sometimes it's very quiet voice in my heart that I feel like I'm sharing. Sometimes it's a bit of a mix. Like I feel it coming down through my crown chakra and it's, it's like a blend of my guides and also like my higher self. Um, and so you can, you can do something similar, which is just set the intention to um, for your question, which is to to ask, what can you do today in this present moment 
to assist in your spiritual development. And you could be more specific. You could say, what can I do today to assist in my rainbow activation? Is that yes. happening? Or you could say, I mean, it's you could say anything, right? <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. I, I, I could be here. I could be here all day. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the the key is like the for you is like the exploration and and just mm-hmm. surrendering to to whatever it is. And sometimes I feel like you're gonna get kind of bizarre answers. Like uh, mm-hmm. it might be like go and walk in like a shopping mall, and you're like. Oh, do I have to? <laughs> um, I, like, yeah, I yeah. get messages like that. I do all the time. All the time I have spirit come through, but we have to listen. Yeah. It'll it'll say, oh, um, you're done taking your dog to this dog shop. Now go walk around randomly in the parking lot. And I go, huh? And I said, <laughs> okay. And I just started walking in the parking lot and I found $80 on the ground. Wow. And which is funny because it's just <laughs> after... I needed money Mm -hmm. and then I just was so grateful to the universe and I said thank you so much so grateful you know so it's those moments that we step in and I do step in I think I'm really tuned in I think some of it is that I want to share the gifts that I have it's more a personal level it's great but I feel I am divinely guided to help others you know yeah you are and (laughs) and the message i'm hearing is do not underestimate your gifts we do not say lightly that we thought it was impossible for an angel of the highest order who had been through on through many ascensions as the soul of stars to step into human form. Because imagine the sun that the earth orbits was placed in the heart of a human and that human walked the planet. Feel that love that that soul emanates and resonates and generates through every being it is near just being on this planet just being on this planet this is you Mm. just being in your human form just being is so powerful and this is why sometimes we tell you to do seemingly strange things because just you being in a place raises the vibration and it challenges everyone around you to see their own light. And just like we showed the black hole and the star, you challenge people to see their darkness and see their light just by being. And so when you walk the streets or through shopping malls or through any crowded place, smile, Lead by example and know that your heart and your soul is changing the entire reality around you. Mm. And so it is. Don't ever dim your light. Don't ever dim that star. (sighs) Wow. (laughs) thank you it means a lot to feel tuned in to be connected to realize that you know there's always the support there and the understanding sometimes we have really tough days it's hard to always be the rock for ourselves so yes but we are the light And sometimes the light sees darkness and has to pass through to come back up and around. So, yes, so beautiful. Thank you. I'm conscious that I've taken 50 minutes. (laughs) 
and um, I don't know if you you still want to do some some healing also or what you'd like yes. to do next. Yes, I would love to do some healing for you as well. Is it possible to just pause really quick and go to the bathroom before I do tune in with you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Please do. Go ahead. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm just going to mute the. Welcome back. <laughs> so when I like to do my healing, I like to be standing. And mm -hmm. part of the reason why is I'm going to ground in my feet to earth energy and just kind of help my body just tune in. So when I come in and do energy healing, I've been trained in Reiki, LMA level two, um, but I'm pulling in and channeling more cosmic energy. So when I envision the energy flowing in, I pull in the energy from the sun. So the energy comes in through the cosmos and it sparkles down. And it just trickles down. And it's so beautiful, it's so strong. And so I'm gonna ask if there's any healing specifically that you're looking for, um, or just a general basic cleansing and clearing healing. If there's something specific I can help on. Just let if me you know. could, yes, yeah, so if you could look at my heart, please, my heart check. Okay. Thank you. So we're going to tune in. First, we're cleansing and clearing the space here around you. I'm going to pull in an infinity symbol. We're going to place this infinity symbol of love and light and of the highest good for you above your head. And we're going to send it back and forth, back and forth. And we're gonna speed it up. And this energy vortex is going to just clear out any blockages so that when we come in to your space now and open up, it gives direct light to be able to see what's going on. These are going to just help with your heart. I feel a heaviness within your heart. As far as tuning in, I'm not really getting anything just yet. Do you feel it, the energy yes. coming in? So I can I'm see the symbol. Okay. The infinity symbol, yes. Yeah. So pure love and light comes to you now. And what we're going to do with your heart is we're going to send it some affirmations of love and we're going to open it up. So right now we're going to say together, I am love. I am love. And I am loved. I am love. And I am loved. I am love. And I am loved. I am loving kindness. I am loving kindness. I am loving kindness. And just this essence of these words, may it resonate within your heart. And so it goes back and forth and moves. The elements of the air surround your body now and it will uplift you. The galaxies of the cosmos are here to guide and protect you, for you are a star seed, just as I am. 
and the beauty surrounds you. You have a very good soul. You are very empathetic. In fact, you're just very sensitive. So you are sometimes overguarded. Let your heart down. Open it up. So we're going to open the gateway to the heart. We're going to allow in peace. And we're going to flow like a river. Channeling in this peace as a river that comes through your whole body. And I just see this beautiful afternoon with the sun and the water glowing through your body and opening up your heart channel. So if you are in some regard feeling guarded in your heart's ways, just allow to be open. Use the elements of light to come into it. Use the sun, imagine right now, the beauty of the sun coming through, the beautiful pure light of prime source energy of which we are all connected. Bring it right into your heart. Just let it expand your heart chakra. So bring it in, breathe in the light. You have a beautiful, beautiful guide above you. Keeping watch and protecting you. Above you in the sky and overlooking all that you do. And now I will bring about an energy vortex to go around your whole body so that you are protected in whatever stress that you're going through or any kind of problems. We'll channel in and connect you to the earth. So here we are with the light source around us, but then tying in. And as I do this, I'm going to work the energy for your body's sake through my body. So I'm going to help clear and cleanse this. May you be blessed. Christ consciousness is here with the angels, with the source of love and light and the pillars of energy that come from your feet. May you ground in as they are in the source water right now because you're in the flow. And as I see this water, or as they pool around your feet, may it seep into your body and come right up. May this water purify and cleanse every cell in your body. May you breathe it in and crystallize it upon your third eye. May you see this beautiful cosmic reality it is yours. And I feel that you're much lighter. I feel your heart center is warm. I feel it warming up and there's this glow and it's moving up through your body and you're divinely protected and you're on your spiritual path and you are living in the spirit, the way that you should. This is a wonderful message because you are doing exactly as you need. Do not doubt yourself. Embrace it. Pass this on to the generations. You have something so unique and so special. You are like an ascended master. The words you speak are divinely guided. These words are our words. They are here for you and all who listen to you. May they be healed in the spirit of which is one. We are one. We are family. 
We are joy and we are here in the cosmic divine love and light. And yeah, so beautiful. And as I pull in just a little bit more energy healing for you, I would like to play a song, which I felt guided to before even setting up space. It was given to me that spirit wanted me to play this. So I'm going to play a song for you as I give you some more energy healing. Alexa, play Florence and the Machine, Cosmic Love. Here's Cosmic Love by Florence and the Machine on Amazon Music. So let this song divinely guide your heart in this moment. Let me know if you can hear it. Alexa, volume up. And I'm going to take you on a journey at this moment. So just allow in. Connecting you to the air, to the earth, to spirit, to source. Shaturanaya. We are family. Let the energy just flow. You will receive what you need. Just accept. This is for your highest good. Cosmic love is here. So beautiful. For some time now, I have seen this rainbow energy flowing from the Grand Central Sun through you, through me. I accept. I accept. The spirit is healed. Closing back down your energy to help cleanse it, protect it, and guard it so you can go back to your day. Oh, 
some very, very strong energies. I just felt my hands tingling like crazy, <laughs> just expanding everything. I sent you the cosmic energy of love. I felt the galaxies come through my hands and just bring the power of just life and creation source to you. And so when I do that, you know exactly what you need is not for my knowing, it is for you to accept that you are always tied in and that your heart is always divinely protected. And I feel energetically very cleansed through this whole process because it's a whole body of dance, of movement and bringing the energy through. And I'm so grateful you helped to cleanse me. And my third eye was just magnifying all this pure energy it was also my third eye that was delivering all these thoughts to you in which you would be open to the messages and what you needed to hear. So let's hear some of the messages that came through to you. You want to hear these messages from me? Yes, if there's anything you'd like to share. I feel that this is an initiation that was attempted sometime previously in parallel in space and time. And I have a very vivid recall of being on the Galactic Federation ship Athena and stepping out into a small shuttlecraft out into space. And there I was alone in this craft with thousands of beings watching from the ship. And the heart of the universe opened to the grand central sun mm. and this beautiful macabre opening up this light, this activation light that flows through me now. And I see at this time that these space and times are the same, one and the same. Uh, but that I was not ready to understand what happened next yet. What happened next has just happened and is happening now. Yes. The graduation ceremony was my rainbow activation. And now, just as I saw the star of you passing from dark into light, this light body and human form now pass from my darkness into my light, my heaviness, I let go of my human struggles and the struggles of other humans that I cannot save. I cannot save every heart. I cannot solve every problem. Yet I can show them the heart of the universe. I can show them the love of the universe. And I can lead with my light. And I am releasing that baggage of my own and others' burdens from my heart. It was gathered in the lower aspect of my heart and has now been released. And as I travel through space and time and yet are perfectly still in this present moment, traveling at light speed, faster than light speed, yet stationary, I feel connected like never before to the source of this universe. I am honored and so grateful this is the higher self of John speaking. Yes. And Lillian, we knew this was a big moment for John and we are so delighted with you to demonstrate your abilities to someone you respect and that can understand your abilities. And for you to know that John is just the start. Mm -hmm. There are so many you will help in this way. And as you are connecting deeper down into Gaia and your lower chakras are opening, you will be able to reach people way below John's current vibration. And we ask you to watch John now over the coming days and weeks and months. And for you to know 
that you have played a beautiful part in his rebirthing, his activation, his recreation. See yourself in John, for he accepts your starlight. Thank you, beautiful angel. Thank you. Thank you. Hold this frequency close to your heart, for you always have access to it. It is always within you. And if you ever, ever feel down, you place your hand on your heart and you tap your hand and you call to the light and the light will be there. Lights be with me, yes. lights within me, for, for I am the light. Yes. I am the light. I'm As honored to you. serve you. I am honored by your light. I am honored to serve you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to our guides of the higher light realm and those that are always watching and taking keep of our soul. For the goodness of our heart, we give back to you this beautiful breath in which we take so that we may step into the reality of helping raise the vibration to all that will accept the love and light that we have. Yes, thank you. Thank you to every soul, every angel, every guide, source and Gaia. Lillian, thank you for this beautiful You're welcome. healing session and activation. <sighs> Incredible. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I feel very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was incredible. And I um just before the session, this always happens, right? So I was um in my, my new studio, I was putting up um some some sheets on the walls to try try and stop some of the echo because a lot of it's just a, a plain wall like this. And right. <laughs> uh, if I just show you this. Oh, this, it's so this, beautiful. This oh, I love it. And, oh, that's so nice. It's a really cool is, tapestry. <laughs> and this is what I saw in when yeah. you were when you were healing me. And I was yes. I was just thinking, yes. I was just thinking, I've seen it before. Where have I seen it before? And it, and I remembered um that kind of graduation in, in space oh. outside the Galactic Federation ship. And then it's like, no, no, but I've seen it sooner. Like I've seen it <laughs> just like yeah. an hour ago. <laughs> Um, You're exactly where you need to be. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. It's exactly where you need to be. You know, when I tune in to the energy of trees, I try to explain to people because I'm so, you know, it's hard for me to explain to somebody who doesn't understand. And I say to them, what's well, kind of like this, it's like a, a mixing of just like this energy is just like swirling, right? And I'm like, it's kind of like, you know, when you're baking and you've got the mixers and they're going around in a circle I go that's exactly what it, you're seeing you're just tuning into it and then it just keeps going and you know because I need a lot of grounding the trees will bring me in and then I'm like I stand up after meditation I'm dizzy yeah <laughs> it's like that whole like whoa <laughs> like <laughs> so yeah, I, I feel you yeah the tree and the trees are so good for 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 grounding and oh they're so good there, there are also, I find any interaction I have with trees that it, it, it's always like blowing my little human mind. It's always like, they're always teaching me something new. And, right. and a lot of it's about, about energy or the behavior of the universe or our interactions like between myself and, and the tree. There's so, there's so many things that, that such amazing teachers. And, and yeah, they, I feel like they're always, they always love any interaction um oh, yeah. even just even just looking at them like, yes yes because our because our because our, we're like focusing like our consciousness on them and 
um, like there's a there's a really giant tree near near uh, our house here. It's it must be like 80, 90 foot tall, and it's it towers above several houses about two streets away. And it was like in the wind of me, it was like waving today. And there was a little crow's nest at the top. And I was like, that's where the oh, crows wow. come from. I'm always seeing them like in, yeah, in yeah. my garden and they just fly over from that tree. And um, the tree's like, I'm always here. Like, I'm always here, you know, you don't need to actually yeah. touch me. Like, I'm always here. And that, that's, that's really beautiful. Um, that's it's definitely a good lesson for us to, to ground, especially after. So next thing I'll do after this is I'll just take my socks off and yes, walk straight into yes. the grass and, uh, and grind. Yeah, because yeah. the cosmic energy is so complex and it's beyond yeah. what we can even fathom. So when channeling it in, it's just so vibratory, you know? And I think part of it is being in the frequency of it. It holds so much. It's going to take time to integrate. You know, like you yeah. said, it was one of those things that now you're ready to receive this fully. It's very yeah. strong. So, and I don't know what comes through. I just ask for it to be as pure and open. And when I was pulling in energy, I was bringing you to my meditation space, which is in nature. And I was pulling you in with pools of light that come through, you know, when the trees come through with that afternoon light and you're just, you feel so, you know, alive, you know, you're in that moment and nothing else matters. There's no words for it. It's just the piece of nature in which we can be. And I think pulling you in on this journey of just like, I'm in my mind taking you there. I felt you were safe. Okay. So that yeah. was my safe space for you. <laughs> so in that, that meditation beautiful. place in which I go and there's always water, it's walking around a pond. So mm -hmm. essentially, you know, I'm really tuned into water, you know, so having that as the center point is just a beautiful thing. I love so, that. Yeah. And, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for your, your healing. I felt um, like a really strong message for both of us is that uh, it's, it's quite hard for us to perceive reality around us when we're constantly changing the reality around us. Like we constantly have a, we have a huge effect, you and I, and yes. um, it's very easy to, to just shut that down because because right. it's way easier to understand right if you just yes <laughs> you know, go into a shopping mall it's like here i am just another body and i'm like i'm walking around right. but if you actually go in there and uh maybe just raise a little bit of a smile just the corners up a little bit and and and, and we open our hearts a little bit uh we can start to see the dramatic effects we have on those around us you know some oh, might absolutely. walk away from us and others like <laughs> are just kind of start looking at you and smiling and, right. and they don't really know why <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, well i always go in i always go into like the world in a very different headspace so i don't know if you ever do this but i go in yeah. like i am a star goddess i want to help i'm walking through and mm -hmm. anyone who comes within this being is touched in the most positive way, whether mm. it's just a look or just a knowing that my presence is given. And yeah. it's a very interesting way of just kind of like, I don't really feel as connected and tuned into the market or what's going on. I'm like energetically. And when yeah. I walk through the doors, I protect my energy. I'm just mm -hmm. completely guarded. And so that if somebody is in the wrong frame of mind, I can help change reverse that, you know? Yeah. And so they just kind of feel this calmness kind of come through and they're like, I don't know what's some kind of change in the frequency, you know, that's how <laughs> I like to look at it. <laughs> yeah. That's really beautiful. So, yeah. I feel yeah. like I've got, I've got more um, energetic techniques to practice when, I, when I'm out. Um, less so in nature but more so in, in just around humans and, and in cities uh, in particular so yeah, uh, yeah I, I think that's a really really beautiful way of doing it um thank you for sharing yeah i'd love to do this again sometime and build our yeah, community definitely. and yeah you know, i'm very yeah, excited this is this is literally the stepping stone for me to take my healing to the next level you know I just want um, to do that. In fact, I made mention to um, another TikTok person who um, is really great. And he's like, well, you could reach out to me. 
<laughs> so I mean maybe that's just how things start right yeah that it is yeah people hear the sharing takes place and then yeah. you know from there we can uplift each other yeah exactly um and I'll I'll invite you to I have a a, a small membership group on my it's like through my through my website um I'll, I'll send you an invite for that um and it's 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 just for everyone that I've done a session with and it's just yep. and it's starting to gain um some some more interactions and uh there's such beautiful souls and it's it's really it is really interesting because I uh, that journey is exactly how I started like um when I started right. my mission uh guy just said to me um you you're going to hold your hands out like this and you're going to send in golden lights and you're going to start with some friends um yeah and, and i knew immediately who it was like the uh, two yeah. people called nancy um i started wow. with them and then and then just just kept going um and yeah a, a lot of this is us just relearning right we're just relearning yes we have the knowledge we just have to remember <laughs> yeah <That's right. laughs> exactly uh how, how do you do this in, in in the human body now um right and, it's so hard and... to be human it's so <laughs> tough every day we have to remember that it's okay to fail sometimes because you yeah. know this body is always ever changing you know and so we keep trying to change things as well and that's okay just go with the flow take it from a pisces go with the flow <laughs> and then you're going to be okay there's always a reason for the flow it does lead somewhere but we don't we always want to know the end result right of like where it ends up going but if we can just trust oh so much better you know yeah. there's so much in our mind that stops us to getting to the end well what ifs and the, the what uh, just no allow you know in the yeah. end like just be open and just have that flow and just know you'll always be protected. There's a lot of stuff that I can't control and I'm just going to let it go. I've been told many things that I just don't allow to be in this body, you know, and Sheila is my mentor. She has healed herself four times over. She yeah. is a, honestly, she is a mentor to me in such a way that has been a gift to the universe. And what's very She's interesting amazing. is I share, I'll share something very personal and um, I won't keep you too much longer. But when I first spoke light language, this was um, a year ago, back in June, I decided to record myself and I was very shy about it. Um, you know, and I didn't share this with anybody. I just started to speak it and it was a directly really sunny day and I was outside and it was, you know, I was in the middle of doing, I was in the middle of doing um, work and basically, um, all of a sudden the channeling came through and I started to speak light language. And in my light language, I was saying Sheila, Sheila multiple times. Wow. That's and so, so cool. um, yeah, it was very, it was very interesting. Sorry. Sorry about this. Sorry. It's okay. Um, sorry, <laughs> that's work, but um, it's interesting how I had never met Sheila and I was already speaking light language to connect with family. That's how I look at it, you know, and she's a really great mentor, you know, figure in my life. And I feel the same with you, that you're family. So if you need anything, just reach out. <laughs> so. Thank you. That's so kind. Yeah, she was amazing. It's she's such a blessing to, to have in our lives. Um, she so is. She's a shining star. She's a shining Absolutely. star. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, likewise, feel free to to call on me anytime in, in this dimension <laughs> or, or in any. <laughs> um, yeah, for I'm, sure. I'm always always here. And yeah, thank you so much. I I'll um I'll just close this session. So thanking our guides, higher self, source, Gaia, our angels, set an intention for this healing to remain in place for both John and Lillian and the protection. And I'm just stepping out of the bubble we created for the session, asking my guides and higher self to give Lillian space. Just stepping out now and wishing both of us a clear, and smooth integration over the coming days. 
reminding us to ground and drink plenty of water and to rest when we need it. And so it is. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Thank you so much. I feel so Thank much you. better. So don't forget to drink water. Water, yeah. water, water. <laughs> <We'll do. laughs> Fantastic. So brilliant. Well, thank you again. And um, yeah, thank you so touch. much. I'll, I'll check in over the next couple of days. How are you doing? Definitely. And I know this is your thing, but um, sending you love from Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> sending love from Scotland. And <laughs> thank you. There you go. <laughs> love you. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Take care.